Hello, I'm Shadow Knight and welcome to Armour Free. This is the new series I'm, uh, I'm starting which shows the AI battles and I hope this doesn't stay stood up one minute. <coughs> uh, but this is just us watching the AI and see how they react. I do have an AI mod installed which improves the AI. But they are they still make some stupid mistakes and one minute I just want to see if I can get rid of that before I go into the main fact speak about the three factions we have the first one is the blue four faction they are the government forces, they are loyal to the government the government may have collapsed and lost control of the island but they still have a lot of forces loyal to them, they are the best equipped force but they are not the mo but they are forces that rival their power and this mainly focuses on the three main forces we may do another videos later on showing smaller minor forces that support each faction like the blue form may have a small militias which support them but anyway let's go on to this one the green ones they're bandits they have taken control of this town and they're searching for loot but because I have a feeling fighting is going to begin soon I'll just go on to the red faction these are nationalist forces the, the old government they support democracy these ones want a dictatorship they pretty much are in that version Altus's version of Nazis. They want full control of this island. It looks like they've got a small squad coming in here with, with, with suppressed weapons while well, a main force moves down the road. They want control of this town. But the government forces want control of this town. They aren't ready to move out yet though. So it looks like the nationalists and this are going to be the first to fire the first shots. The government forces will move in and it looks like the nationalists gun shots are moving in. Looks like they even have some re re reserve forces as well, you can stay back. He's leaving that person alone. Ooh! They lost a powerful weapon already. But I have a feeling this person might survive long, and there he goes. Gun down, he had a rifle against loads of people, with pretty much with assault rifles. Come. And they have taken this little gun, it looks like they've taken control. Well, they've struck a major blow against, against them already. They took control of the main highway. It looks like there's a support force, special op force, and starting to move in. Oh, with no gun, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh, maybe he does. He took out their gunner. He, look at that. That was a genius move. He just ran, ran up to them, dived, jumped forward, and took out their gunner, jumped out using this, using this jeep as a, as a shield. That was a genius move by him. And now he's thrown smoke to make an escape. He's took out probably a powerful weapon they had. And he's going to hold his ground. I thought he was retreating to their position. They were using the smoke screen to advance. Advance towards the gas station. So this is last level enemy forces and buildings. And I will want to say one thing. Both the bandits and the government forces have mortars. The bandit only has one mortar. But the government forces have three mortars. They will begin be raining fire down on this town. And that's one thing I like about this mod. Not, oh, and looks like the reserves are moving. I'll get onto that in there. Looks like the government for, nationalist forces have an APC that they're moving into town now. Got people on the back keeping it covered as they advance. And someone just jumped out of the back while it was still moving. I hope he's alright. 
but that feels wrong saying that because these are the Nazi forces in this in this world. But anyway, it looks like the special ops teams have gotten separated, and they suffered their first casualty. He's either dead or praying, but he's dead. The spec ops team has suffered their first casualty, and for some reason, this marksman really is a complete badass. You've taken down more enemies when I was testing it than any other unit. And it looks like there's only one person here, so the Nationalist forces are about to take control of the gas station while their spec ops team are keeping any reinforcements in check. But it looks like the government forces are moving. They have two gun sheets, a truck full of soldiers, and this AA, AA vehicle. See, they can pose a deadly threat still. Like I said, they are the government forces. They have access to military equipment. And they have soldiers from before the before the country fell into ruin. So they really are a potent threat. If they stop crashing into each other. And please tell me you didn't damage one of your wheels. Nope, he's just waving it off. And no size calling mortars by the sound of it, you usually hear mortars. And that jeep's running away, I think that's pretty much the only thing he can do, he's lost his gunner. So the bandits, one of the bandits. Oh, I think the first mortar may have fired then. And these two vehicles have crashed once again. Ah, they really don't like each other, they're playing bumper car. Ooh, and they lost their gun, first gun sheep. But now they have a truck full of soldiers which are jumping out and right into the, and they're running over their own side. No, 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 you can't do that. Ooh, that person is somehow still alive, and I'm pretty sure he had a tr truck right on top of his body. Ooh, the government forces are now in the town. And someone's falling out of the GP here by the looks of things. I don't know where he came from, he must have jumped out already. Jumped out at some point. It looks like the government forces still have more reinforcements incoming. But they've ran into that Spec Ops team. And he's took out one. And is that that sniper? Yeah, was that sn no, it wasn't that sniper. Ooh! Someone's called. That was a government force that called a mortar, because like I said, they had three and the three mortars exploded. But that proved useless, didn't it? It nearly hit him. Yep, and the government forces are calling the mortars to, to support their advance through the town. But it looks like this person's still holed up in this building. Oh, he's dead now though. The gas station has fallen to the nationalist forces now. But the town's still in the, still up for grabs, they have bandits. Oh, the government forces took a nasty blow when that trap exploded by the looks of things. And mortars are still raining down. So both all sides have been blooded, they lost a vehicle lost a vehicle. But it looks like the bandits still have a strong position in the centre of town, their main base for the mortar is still intact. But the nationalists they really have moved in and now securing the gas station. And they just think they're just letting the government and the government forces and the bandits engage each other and wear each other out before they advance into town. Anyway, is that APC anywhere? Oh, here's the APC. He's taking cover, looks like they're protecting their APC. For now. Ooh, people are firing from up here now. I believe they're firing on the, go on the nationalist forces, so the only position I can see that they could fire on for me. I don't think they can see the government forces from that position. So they're advancing while firing on the national force. And it looks like they took the. No, I think that was a bandit. They dress so similarly. Because these forces, they're all from the same. They all were originally the same force. So they have very similar equipment and uniforms right now. They're still trying, struggling to establish themselves. Because it's only just recently they all formed after the fall of their government. Because this is only very recent after this one. 
So the government forces are moving troops around trying to regain their areas. That's why they're here. This area has fallen from the government forces. They wanted to regain their control over it. Nationalist forces, they just just established themselves. So they're trying to take territory as well, expand their control and, and influence. While bandits, they're just taking advantage of the chaos. That's what they're doing, they're just taking advantage of the chaos to line their own pockets with money and kill them for the fun of it. And I believe that was the last member of the Spec Ops team that was killed. So the Nationalist Spec Ops team is now all dead. Ooh, that mortar hit the roof. That's another building destroyed. Government's forces ain't doing very much to, look, to win the hearts and minds of the people. And it's like they're now engaging with the Nationalist forces as well. So they're caught in pretty much being sandwiched between the bandits and the Nationalist forces. I think that squad may be preparing to move in. But I don't think the government forces will be able to take this town. Ooh, maybe not. That more looked like it was devastating. Yeah, it took out three of their men. The more they're coming more devastatingly accurate, so maybe they do stand a chance yet. And they still have another squad over here, plus a gun truck and the AA vehicle they can call in. But they are taking mortar fire, but their mortar fires are just deadly and devastated. But I don't think they did much to win the hearts and minds of people who lived in these houses there. They just devastated that row of houses. You never fight that mortar needs to go back to basic training. That was terrible. Unless they was aiming... Oh, I think they were aiming for that force there. And that was the government forces. The ex-military looks like they're missing badly. Oh, it looks like they're trying to put... The government forces are trying to push through the bandits. This little bandit stronghold here. And the government forces are making them advance. That's one bandit dead. Two dead. And that man's did a very good job to cut two bandits. And he's still engaged in a third. I think he... No, he took out three bandits. I thought he died then because he moved. And that's three bandits he's took down and this person's hiding in the toilet. He must be crapping himself. We just saw three of his friends being taken down by him. Well, that's the government soldier, and now he's now he's running for his life. He had to go to the toilet. Oh, and he's now mortars are raining down on him. That person must be terrified. Oh, but it looks like the bandits have moved up a squad here to secure this flank. It looks like they're setting a defensive perimeter around their base. But the government nationalist forces are taking their time by the looks of things. They're slowly advancing. Oh, the government, the government gun truck. Just took out an, an AA launcher. And this they're just going to drive through the town, gunning down everyone they see. So the new government drive by tactics seem to be working. So they believe they killed an AA launcher, caught the mortars on his dead body. And now they're about to run into more forces. Oh, it looks like they're going to run at their base. No, they lost their gunner. They're just trying to run at their base by the looks of things. They take out their mortar. That would have been a devastating blow to the bandits. They'd lost probably the most powerful weapon they had right now. No, so that would have been a devastating blow if it would have worked. But it looks like he's all oh, now. He's just drawing fire. Oh, he's probably dead now. No peace. He's not going down without a fight though. He's wounded. His legs bleeding. But he's still ain't going down without a fight. Looks like he's trying to make his last stand. Oh, he's still going for the mortars. Even though he's, the odds are stacked against him, he's going to make a run at the mortars, but I think he may be dead now by that mortar. He's just fired, I think, one or two rounds. Oh, we can hear him coming in. Yeah, that mortar's firing on him. Ah, uh, the mortars took him out. That was excellent firing by that mortar. They secured their base and probably the government forces the best chance to take out that mortar. Oh, looks like the nationals are making advance down the main road now. They're advancing by squads, split it up. The APC is still safe. They're not calling that in right now. So it looks like they secured this area as a little base for them. And now they're advancing. Sorry, I disappeared for a while. I just needed to pick up a mic. I just knocked some some stuff on the floor and just needed to pick everything up again. It looks like the government 
Looks like the Nationalist forces, government forces are in trouble. They're pinned down, they've suffered a lot of casualties. Looks like their quest to take this town's failed. And meanwhile, the bandit forces just spread out. They're spreading out, taking up defensive positions. Ooh, took a devastating blow to, mortars, to the mortars, though. Lost two people, I saw. So, the government forces may have taken casualties, but they're still posing a potent threat to them. And is this squad looks like they may be moving up? Uh, no. They took up defensive position around their mortars, so I think that's all they're doing is just defending. So if, I think they decided to give think there's a bad, bad idea to move into town right now. Which I can't argue about. The nationalist forces are starting to move in. And the government forces in town are suffering every casuals. Meanwhile, the bandit forces are dug in on one flank and advancing on the other. Looks like they're going to hit the, government, the nationalist forces in the flank though. I think this I think several people up here. No one no they don't. If they was on the second floor balcony, they'd have been in the perfect position to stop this little counter-attack by the bandits. They could just rain fire down this area to directly take out their counter-attack before it ha happens. All government forces called in more mortars. I think that's the only thing saving the government soldiers here, it's just their mortar fire. So I think without the mortars, the government forces would have been wiped out by now. Oh, but they've only got two people left in town. And that gun tr and that AT vehicle. And no reinforcements are coming. I think they've given up trying to call in reinforcements. So we're giving up trying to take this town. And they're just cutting their losses. And pretty much just using these people as forward spotters to call in mortars. Meanwhile, the bandits are taking up more positions. And looks like they may retake the town. Because right now, unless they have that, unless, unless the APC does something to stop this attack, because the government forces are flicking a lot of casualties on them, so I think the bandits may keep sustained control of this town, which is surprising because they normally lose every time I take it. So normally, even the nationalist forces or the government forces that, that win. But it looks like the bandits may actually win this for once and remain in control of the town. Government forces are just devastating, devastating the nationalist forces with their mortar fire. And the bandits are moving on the gas station, they're trying to retake it. But that APC is still a potent threat. Hmm. Then they feel safe and secure in this one. But if they have an AT man moving up, I wish that was an AT man then, to prove my point. He, but he may get close enough to call in a mortar strike on them. Oh, only one government force in town. I think he's dead, yeah. No, there's another one. Only one government soldier left in town now. I think he may be calling in a mortar strike on that one. If he can get close enough and call in a mortar strike, he could tip the tide. But I don't think that will happen. The good thing is, I don't think the bandits noticed him yet. Oh no, they've noticed him now. But you could call a more, more strike on that position before he's speaking, so he may be calling the more strike. So if more hit that position, they could could eliminate the bandit threat and keep him, and the nationalists may take the town. Because the bandits are in a strong position, but without that mortar, they'll lose a big advantage they have over the nationalist forces. Always retreating, he probably has their position marked and is now retreating. Meanwhile, the government forces now know where this mortar is, so let's see what they do about it. So I believe I hear something firing. Oh, looks like the bandit here was gone down. And we missed it. You know where his body is. Oh, looks like the APC is taken out on advance. He just gunned down this man mercilessly. 
So they still have, still have that APC in position. And that government force, this soldier is still trying to survive. The, the government force really should send in reinforcements to try and rescue him. Oh, but he may actually kill that person and get one kill. That person ain't even looking at him. Oh, oh quite, took down a bandit. Very nicely. So he may be, may be alone, but he ain't going down without the fight. But the Nationalist Force, it looks like the bandits really are the strongest force left alive right now. Nationalist Forces, they took a beat, beat in fighting the government forces. The government called it some devastating mortar strikes on them. But the bandits, they still have their stronghold nice and secure. They're regrouping there by the looks of things. So maybe the bandits may actually win this. But the government still has the EPC. No wonder something happened. Does the bandits have any RPG people left? If they don't, then the, then the government for, then the nationalist forces will win. They won't be able to take out that APC. Unless they can call the mortars and disable it with a lucky shot. But I don't think the bandits have any, have any AT soldiers left. They probably could have flicked losses on their infantry, but I don't think they have any weapon that can take out the APC. So the Nationalist forces may win. Oh, and I think that. I think the government soldier is trying to retreat back to his base. That's pretty much what I think is happening now. He's given up. He did a good job. He noted the army base position. So if he can get back and give that information to his commander, they could call in a devastating strike against it later on. I think that's all he's trying to do, he's just trying to run with that message. Hopefully you'll make it back. Well, I think this... Well, I think this video ends here. The bandits look like they've won. They've successfully defended their base. Unless I think they may be getting spotted into that hill over there. Because someone is firing. I believe they have a sniper over here firing on them. No, he's not a sniper. I thought he was a sniper by the shots he was pulling off. So the bandits are launching another attack on, on the nationalist forces. So let's just wait and see how this attack plays out. Because they probably still have their mortar, so they may call them mortar strikes. And it's like the government fort soldiers reach the gun truck over there. And it will be cool right now if that gun truck just drives through town and just devastates the life of everything. But I doubt that will happen. But you never know, maybe if that person gets back to the group they may come back with that squad over there and come in and march through town. But I don't know who they're firing at, I do. I think they may be firing this truck over here. Maybe what they're firing at. Yeah, it sounds like they're hitting, trying to hit this truck here. And I believe that driver has been hit. He's blooded, but he doesn't seem bothered by it. He's either very tough or he's like all his nerve ends cut off. Uh, looks like that soldier successfully regrouped with this truck here. And he's getting a ride in with it. That's nice, and maybe the, he may be about to retreat. Oh, he can't make up his mind. I think he, I think he doesn't know what to do. Whether to hold here or run for it. But it looks like the bandits are making another push on the, on the, for the gas station. They really want it. They have two vehicles there. And plus all that gas will be a valuable resource. Oh, and it looks like they took out the truck driver. Yeah, the truck driver's dead. So, the bandits may be... So it looks like the nationalist forces I have to say have may have lost this one. So the bandits can call them mortars, disable the, disable the APC, that's the only threat that the nationalists still have. That's that person called... 
Yeah, he can't make him look like he wants to get in the truck or not. I was wondering where he disappeared to. But it looks like there's three bandits that make an attack on the gas station again. Oh, and they have two nationalist soldiers which are having a little hug in the house. Don't know what they're doing. Having a little private moment. Ah, uh, what do you say? Passions are, passions are heightened in times of war. So we see, witness true re romance. But looks, look at this town. It's just been devastated by this battle. Especially the street here where the bandits had a little stronghold. That was just devastated by a mixture of government and bandit mortar fire. Uh, but it looks like the bandits, I have to say, have won this. We all wait and see how this attack pans out before we end the video. And that soldier still keeps going in and out of the vehicle. I don't know what he's planning on doing. Let's we'll just see what the bandits have, have planned to take out the APC. Looks like they have one rifle and two people with assault rifles. But they're attacking the APC in from a stupid position. Just look at this. The APC has a machine gun and he dominates this line here. Oh, do they have a little spotter up here? That's, that's neat. They have a little spot. They've sent a spotter up the hill. I'm just waiting for this the bandit force to be devastated. That's all I'm waiting for. Because that's pretty much what's about to happen. They will just get dominated by that machine gun from the APC. And just like they set up a forward little scout here. Watching this way so they don't get outflanked. And the rest are in this building. Apart from the two little lovebirds which are in town. Ah, uh, looks like the bandits are preparing there in that final attack. I will have to say this will be the final attack because I don't think anyone will be able to launch any offensive after it. So we'll just let this attack plan out and end the video. But I think we are safe to say the bandits still remain in control of this town. Both the government forces and the nationalist forces have been wiped out. While the government forces still have a foothold on the checkpoint, foothold here, but I don't think they'll be able to hold it against the bandits. They're just going to rain down waters on them. So they will be forced to pull out. Meanwhile, the government forces, they failed to secure this town for the government, so the bandits won. And I'm just going to write this down, because this is going to be, for the next episode, that will play in a part, like, say, in this one. They don't have a limited resource, so if a bandit... So I'm just going to say, the loyalists lost their offensive force. So I'm just writing stuff down to see how it goes. For the next video, so they will play factors. Apart from one little survivor, who did a very good job, the nationalist. Uh, I think they lost. They lost. Let's just say they lost about not about eighty percent of their force. But control the check. They have a foothold. And the bandits, they they won and control the town. Oh, it looks like another bandit joined the attack. Well, I don't think they're going to attack. I think they're going after the two little lovebirds. So, I think they're just scouring out the position. So, let's just end the video here. This has been Shadow Knight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.